Okay, I'm back down here. <clears throat> Got me a cough drop too. Maybe that'll help matters with the coughing and everything. Okay, so it finally re it actually recognized it that time one time. I, I just took them. I left it right there on that screen and I pulled the SD card and the USB stick out and swapped spots with them, and now they're all showing up. Okay, so I'm gonna boot to my um, easy to boot SD card and that uh, USB flash stick that I keep talking about is the helper drive that makes it supposed to make it uh, work make the Windows install ISOs work ok now there's my Windows 7 install ISOs folder professional home premium x86 and then 64. Okay, I want 64. Okay, so it just stops there. It used to go on. <coughs> it would say uh, select something right quick, or, or else it uh, it just go on and go into the default. Let's see. It's showing the whole thing now, though. You still can see the numbers one, two, and three, and four. Let's get it. Use the easy to boot XML file. I'm just reading through them again because I kind of forgot. Okay, yeah, so I still want, I want O, so I thought. Still got the exact same error. Okay, now watch, I'm going to do this just for demonstration purposes and, and for myself. This other one, I'll have to hit O, I guess. The 32 bit, it'll probably boot up just fine. That's what it looks like when it works. And uh, I guess I should be able to. Uh, I didn't get any red text saying, you know, you have a problem with your deep driver missing. Well, maybe it comes after this. I can't even remember now. Yeah, it does. So let's see if that happens. <coughs> I want to make sure my helper USB stick's working. Because I'm getting to the point where this is just too fiddly and too much extra too many little things to do I mean I'm having trouble beyond the recommended setup problems I'm having and I guess I mean I really don't know for sure I think it's file permission problems but the only thing I know to do is to delete that 64 bit one again and recopy it over after I change the file permissions over on my server maybe then it would be fine but this one didn't they have the same permissions? I believe they did. So that, you know, neither one, it shouldn't matter. And I have seen it boot just fine, so it's not a bad ISO or anything. Okay, yeah, so I didn't get any message saying, um, you know, you're missing your drivers and all that junk. So, <coughs> so, uh, you know, I think that this one would run, but I don't want 32 bit. As a matter of fact, if I can't do 64 bit, so that the, uh, the only real reason I kind of wanted to do it, because I thought this might be a good machine to um, if, uh, to um, try out uh, this uh, professional. Still didn't go look. See what the name of it is. Video editing program that they have a free version now. It's one one that's been around since the early 90s or even before. And uh, I kind of wanted to try it out, but it has to be 64-bit. So I'm going to get out of this. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go delete that. Um, I don't know if this, this may reboot. I'm going to go delete that 64-bit uh, ISO. Sure did. And uh, I'll probably go back to Sardi now. Go delete it in my uh, Linux system. I guess I'll make a desktop video of that. And copy it back over from my server again since I've changed the file permissions. I'll even d triple check on them, make sure they still look like what I want them to be. And uh, then I'll go from there. Alright, bye.